Hi everybody, this is Mark from Mark's Mandalas, and today's tutorial is going to be a candy corn themed mandala. Um, it is pretty similar to the last tutorial that I did, um, but there are a couple of changes, mainly accent dots are added. There are also a few changes to the way that I am presenting this tutorial, thanks to the feedback I got from all of you out there. It's very appreciated, and I am always looking for ways to be more efficient in how I do my videos. The uh, three biggest changes I think you will notice with this tutorial versus the last one is I have made a list of all of the items that I used to make this mandala. Another change that I have done is I have added the tool size and paint that I'm using whenever I make a change. The third thing that I have done is how I am applying my dots uh, as far as the sequence goes. In the last tutorial, after the inner circle was complete, I would just go in a clockwise manner around doing each successive circle of dots. This time I am doing a 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock approach and then filling in between. I am doing this trying to keep the dots spaced evenly apart. It's a very challenging thing to do, especially when you are not dealing with a perfectly round or symmetrical shape. Uh, so you're kind of at the mercy of the shape of the rock, but I am finding, I think it is helping me keep the, the dots fairly evenly spaced apart. Um, in this video also, I have started to incorporate accent dots after the third row, uh, rows four, five, six, and seven. After I complete the circle of dots, I am filling in the spaces in between. As you get further out, there's more space that's opened up, and I think it creates a, a fun effect when you fill those spaces up with dots. You can go with the same color, or if you want, you can use a different color in between there. Uh, we've come to the yellow dots here, and once I finish this row, you're going to see something on the final row of yellow dots, and that are peaks that you don't normally see on my dots. I like to have paint a little bit stiffer, on the sides of the rock so it won't run down there, but not so stiff that it'll dry with a sharp point. My hope is that the paint will relax enough to create more of a dome shape versus the hard peak. That's just my preference. There's no right or wrong answer to how you like the um, dot shape to be either flat or a sharp peak or a dome shape. And it looks like we're just about to the end of this tutorial here. Uh, I'm going around the uh, the final circle. Uh, we're now getting ready to do the last accent dots. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to making more of these for you. And any feedback that you'd like to offer is greatly appreciated. Please subscribe to my channel and share this information with anybody that you think would enjoy it. This is Mark from Mark's Mandalas. Until next time, rock on.